And I think the topic says it all because forgotten fascia, like you really said, that <laughs> take the white stuff away, you don't need it, put it on the trash or something like that. We need this white stuff. <laughs> we really need it. And after a while, you understand why. Um, why fascia really matters we need it. Uh, it's part of the stability system, part of the support system in our body, in our dog's body, and also, well, in every body, every living body. And we are talking something about the relaxation and balance also. And then we are thinking the forced transmission and proprioception. So this is a short time to give you really idea about what is happening in the body, but I hope I can really guide you in the way that why fascia matters. And it's not really only the white stuff, it's meaningful white stuff, we need it. And for example, if we think stability, support, we have to think how, how, how our dogs are moving at our house, outside, are they sleeping floors, floors or something like that, which are taking the stability more problematic. So always keep in mind that how my dog is using stability, how it supports its body. And when it, it's relaxed, is it balanced when I do my things? Agility, for example, is there a balance in there? And um, of course, always when the dog is moving, force is transmitted. Because when, when we are moving, we need proprioception. And the dog is using the proprioception when the paw is landing and the body is moving forward. When we are doing the turnings or when the dog is hearing you somewhere and coming quickly to you, it's using the force transmission, it's using the proprioception of the body. Just explain proprioception moving. because some people won't yeah. know what that is. Yeah, so proprioception is the sense that um, that the animal or you know where your body parts are. When you put your hand, for example, to your head, you know that, okay, here is my hand, here is my head. So you sense, it's the sense of feeling where you are and how you feel. 